and done. There it is, Stewie. Three hours, 27 minutes, and I got myself one big steaming pile of book. You want to hear it? Oh, definitely. Okay, chapter one. Hasbun Hotel's fanbase has been receiving a lot of hate by some of the bigger parts of the hate dom of the fanbase. Hate doms are people who secretly lie what they're criticizing and despising because they focus more on it more than the official accounts do. It's actually so funny. But the fanbase has been under siege for a couple months now since its release date. Well, actually even before its release concerning episode 4 and the villain it had set up earlier, Valentino. To give a rundown on why people are attacking anything associated with Valentino, he's a villain in the Hasbun Hotel show. He's not a main villain, but out of the three Vs, he carries more weight to one of the characters than the other do. In other words, Valentino runs the porn industry as a pimp overlord, which gives him the power to sign people into contracts that are unknown to when they can end, if they can at all. But overall, Valentino is very abusive to especially his contractually locked toy, Angel Dust, who he sexually assaults and abuses whenever he wants. Which is why people in the hate dom have a problem with him. Only the issue isn't being they hate him in the show, but hate anyone who buys the merch, who cosplays or even merely likes Valentino. Whether either their words or hateful actions, except there's one benefit to being on TV. It's, it's fictional. fictional. It's kind of what separates it from real life. This show isn't a documentary, neither are the other adult shows who have touched upon similar topics. The character is not real, and for some reason people can't latch onto that. Now the main explanation why people have a problem with Valentino is how people glorify him because he's associated with a topic like this. Only he's always been like that. And yet we never saw your head sticking out when Addict happened. Alright, you were nothing then and you'd be a nothing now without hating what you clearly love. But that's the thing. Most sane fans don't like what Valentino does. They like everything outside of him. They call him a rat, yeah, yeah, that's love. Because this is a fictional character, they can add things to him to appear likeable in different scenes. In episode 2, he's using art supplies with macaroni, and earlier he was having a temper tantrum resulting in murder. He didn't fucking quit! It's worse! He moved! He thinks he can- But later in that episode, his voicemails tease just how much abuse Angel was suffering. But that all changed in episode 4, Masquerade. Because whatever cutesy actions he had, flicks off like a light and into a new source, because he's never shown to be likeable for one second in the episode. Licking the Princess of Hell's arm with the hope she'd join his ranks. Abuses Angel while Charlie, who could easily kill Val, was just outside that room. Even had Angel kick out Charlie knowing he would. Alright, get your asses back on set and we are taking this from the top! What makes you think you can treat him like that? Charlie! and then proceeded to show the scene of Poison. And then in episode 6, he abused his angel in front of everyone in a club called Consent because he talked back and threatened more work for him before getting his hair ripped off by Nifty. Do those sound like a fun character to like? No, no one likes his actions. What they do like is his design, his personality, his voice, his lore. But people are harassing anyone who merely likes him. And what's worse is that at some point they were harassing Joel Perez, the fucking voice actor. Even though he and Blake Roman have been in the same room, the abuser and abused are fictional characters. They voice these fictional characters. They know this, and yet they still love the character they voiced. But people associate fictional villains with real life victims, even though the same victims they shoot down actually like Valentino. Because that's not a joke, I have seen countless SA victims come out and say they find comfort with Valentino, Angel, or another one of the cast. Right it's now. my trauma and I get to choose the coping mechanism. But people like this are fighting so hard to protect these survivors that they trample over them instead. SA victims don't cope the same way you do. You never will understand what they're going through even if you're a victim yourself. Everyone handles most things differently. If you cope one way, not everyone will walk that same path. You could have recovered from sexual assault faster. Some could repress it, some express it in their art, and much more. But with hating Valentino comes hypocrisy and liking villains like him and villains in general. If you don't know about this, there's a character in a film I won't be mentioning or showing just for the sake of whatever audience I do have. This character drugs the main character into a lust-driven psychosis, 
where he proceeds to basically have sex with her. Something he would not have done if he wasn't under the drugs she force fed him. This female character was also sexualized to represent how black women were sexualized. Taking that into mind, does that mean anyone who makes merch of this character, likes this character, etc. should be hurt just for them? No, because this character in every other sense is fictional, and I won't pretend I know this film, much less understand it, but I know has been, and this is fictional with the same themes it's depicting, only it's not a few minutes of animated porn. I haven't watched Tuga and Birdie, but it touches upon SA as a minor, no less, with this quote resonating with most. I trusted him. A part of Angel's character that's hinted to be the case is in the song Poison. Bell is a pimp. He's not supposed to be the good guy, and he never has been as early as the pilot from five fucking years ago. <laughs> Even later than that, since it was in production for years. Removing Val will remove what makes Angel's character so compelling, because it's something most studios don't even touch when it comes to fiction. And, and with this reaction to the character, you can see why. With all that, where do you draw the line of liking a character for being a villain? Anakin killed Jedi younglings, force choked his wife, and then as Darth Vader blew up a fucking planet, cut off his son's hand off, and yet, Darth Vader has been one of the most popular villains in history, matched with his design and voice. Same with the couple dozen other villains in the films and shows. Tai Lung terrorized the Valley of Peace and did God knows what to the people before being sent to jail. And guess what? He's liked for his design and voice. Hunter puts down like for his design and voice. Fucked up an entire town, design and voice. Lots of things. Framed her sister, took over her home planet, design and voice. Took a woman's voice, design and voice. Have I pressed this ideology into your fucking skull hard enough yet? Notice how no matter the villain in animation history that they support what they do. They like their design and voice. Just like Valentino! These are fictional villains doing fictional acts of violence that affect nothing in the real world because it's fucking television! People wear merch of the character Joker despite most of his depictions causing major harm to many people. He has a list of everything he's done including some as sexual assault, crippling a woman, killing thousands, and much more. While also having traits and comedic aspects that make him likeable in the first place no matter what show he's in. Viv never made merch of the abuser and abuser together. She bought merch from someone who made merch like that because there was a pin with Husk and Angel and the change that they share with who owns them. But the creator was a victim. All Viv did was put Valentin on pins, cards, shirts, just like any other person from any other franchise for any other villain. Viv doesn't condone it, and saying she does because of Jewish stereotypes people assume was the case for Mimsy? And if it's anyone, it's Rosie, whose voice sounds like a Jewish mother, and whose addition sheet states that. And even then, they don't use them to make Jewish jokes. In fact, there isn't even a Jewish joke in either show. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have to make a video like this, but this wildfire will not shut up, and I'm hoping this will help put it out. Valentino is not a good person. They never hype him up as one. Angel literally makes fun of him for struggling to count a couple dollar bills. To the audience, we will like him for whatever cute action he makes. His small quirks, while despising him for what he does to the in-universe, fictional characters he does harm to. Just because this character does this, doesn't mean it's endorsed by most people a part of the community. Spirit out.